Hello, I am Caleb Fink, Production Automation Engineer with the California Strawberry Commission. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the grower's most important tools, the spray rig, and how to improve its coverage. But first, why is this important? Well, a uniform and thorough spray coverage is essential for pest and disease management. In 2018, a joint research project with UC Davis and the Commission found that spray volume does not equal spray coverage. Thus, greater volumes may not necessarily provide better coverage. Coverage depends on operator training, weather conditions, and rig design. We cannot control the weather, but we can design a better spray rig. Over the last two years, we have conducted spray trials across California's three main growing districts, Watsonville, Santa Maria, and Oxnard. During these trials, we take note of the spray parameters. For example, this spray rig uses 20 holocone nozzles, sprays at 150 psi, and is common to rigs found in southern growing districts. We also measure the rig's coverage with water-sensitive paper. From this industry-wide survey, we've identified critical elements that affect spray coverage. This includes spray height above canopy, pressure, number of nozzles, and type. Replicated and randomized field comparisons found that a closer to canopy spray height achieved better coverage irrespective of the other critical design elements. And that for four row systems, eight ConeJet TXR80036 ceramic nozzles operating at 111 psi performed the best out of all the designs tested. To date, three out of the three grower rigs who adopted a portion of the four row recommendation achieved between 10 to 30 percent improved coverage over their conventional rig design while operating at the same tractor speed and volume per acre. Designs of a four row rig will be posted in the fall of 2020. Designs of a two row rig will be made available in the future of 2021. 